What's up, Trade Flair family? Welcome to the Nightly Breakdown, where we break down what happened today in the stock market, as well as give you an idea of what we're looking at into tomorrow. So headed over to the key points, and the first key point is obviously going to be the meme stocks and the fact that they are squeezing. Now, most of this is focused in on AMC as they were up 95% today, but I'm trying to think about last time this happened, and it did end up trickling over into these stocks, and I'm trying to play that wave rather than trying to get in late on AMC. The crazy thing is that these growth companies that we're at the bottom that aren't really meme stocks but rather than overvalued stocks are starting to get the gas as well we saw this happen with stocks like palantir technologies saw it with workhorse and there are definitely a few more popping up here and there one pattern with that they all have is that they're all low float companies which means they don't have a lot of shares outstanding this means that price can move a lot when there's a huge influx of demand when shorts have to cover the losses from the initial influx of demand and price breakout this is when you start to see the squeeze happening and we saw all this happening today in AMC. People see it as an opportunity and all over the market people are trying to squeeze shorts and this has happened before. This has happened a few months ago and we saw it with GameStop first. I'm not as focused on trying to figure out where AMC or GameStop is going. Rather, I'm trying to take advantage of these smaller ones, the ones that have less hype, the ones that haven't really popped yet. Some examples I'm thinking about are BlackBerry, Nokia, Workhorse, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Naked. We saw meme stocks squeezing but we also had a great day with other stuff. We hit the PayPal calls, we hit the ChargePoint calls, we hit the Airbnb calls, we hit the Palantir calls, and right now we're still holding a few Palantir calls as well as some Apple calls, City calls, but we have no puts and we're pretty exposed to the upside, so we're looking to take advantage to the downside on any sort of reversal that we do see. One thing that I like to point out is the last time we saw this, we missed a value rotation, which means that the meme stocks were squeezing and we saw real big investors start to pour in the value stocks. That's when we really start to see these growth names get really destroyed and beaten down. So I'm watching to see if this pattern will repeat itself. As of today, we saw a lack of strength, a lack of volume, anywhere, anything to take us anywhere, especially higher on the SPY. We're even struggling to get to those all-time highs. Tech and energy were the only sectors to stand out today. Other than that, we saw some low volume and not really any movement. So let's head over to the SPY and look at where we're at and where we could be going tomorrow. So looking at the SPY and overall candle structure, it looks like we printed a doji candle we opened up did a little bit of moving around and ended up closing right where we opened the doji candle is actually also known as the indecision candle so looking at this setup i can't really get an idea of where we're gonna go into tomorrow so to get some more information i'm gonna dive in and look at the one hour here and i do notice that there is a head and shoulders setting up here at a resistance and i notice i have the neckline drawn here at 419.65 and the fact that we closed above that it's actually pretty bullish in my opinion that being said we could go ahead and break that after hours and if we do break that after hours i expect us to go down and test the top of that value area at 417.95 or 418 if we do break below 418 i expect to go down to 416.42 or 416.50 area and like we've been talking about if this is a look above and fail then we start to target the bottom of the range at 410.50 so let's head over to the the watch list and the first ticker I have on the watch list is AAPL or Apple and the reason I like Apple is because it's right at a support trend line I like how there's buyers to back it up there's volume and if you look at where price came from these sellers are exhausted the buyers are just sitting there ready to take this thing higher tomorrow's gonna be another key day of price action for Apple so make sure that you're watching that I have my eye on the July 135 calls for Apple at around 85 cents if I can get them around 75 79 cents that'd be great next up on the watch list is amd and as far as candle structure goes on the daily it looks like we got a full body green candle but we do have a little bit of a long wick on the top this means we saw buying but there wasn't enough buying to sustain those prices so we saw a little bit of sell-off which left us a long wick on the top so zooming in to look at the 30 minute it looks like we have some confluence with yesterday's low and today's low at 8065 so i'm expecting support here at 8065 if 
we can break above yesterday's high at 82.92 or the psychological level of 83, I think we can start to see some real buyers step in. We're still looking at that inverse hammer candle, but we want to see if we can take out the highs. If we take out the highs of yesterday, then I think we have a bump in the road at 84, then we can start to see numbers like 88, 89. Next up is Exxon, and this sector specifically has been trending, and the trend is your friend, so that's why you want to keep your eye out for this one. I'm actually watching oil as another sign for inflation. At this point, if oil prices keep going higher, then we start to get the idea that inflation is running hot. This means I'm watching oil, the bonds, and the dollar very closely. Next up is Workhorse, and Workhorse actually started to run with the memes today. Like I said, low flow, these companies have been beaten down, these shorts were going heavy, and they're getting squeezed. Looking at the big chart, it looks like we've got some room to run, and my honest opinion and where I think we're going, I think that we could see $19. Above 19 above 20 then we really start to squeeze short so be careful be on the lookout for this one next up is palantir technologies and this is another one that can run and has ran and we saw exactly what we wanted to see today so earlier this week we broke this resistance trend line and we started to see the volume and the buyers step in today and take us where we need to be this is a low float stock that has the chance to move as well as a lot of long-term investors watch for palantir to start to take off here next up is ebay and eBay printed a nice long body green candle on the daily. They're up 3% and we also saw a lot of volume traded so I'm really interested in this tomorrow. I think the volume is there to take this to or above all time highs. And lastly on our watch list is Citibank. We're still holding calls on Citi and we still see a lot of volume and a nice upward trend here. We do have a head and shoulders forming here. We have the look down. We see the neckline here at 79.37 and we go back above and now we're forming that third head and if we do break below that neckline 79.37 then we could go lower i'll probably sell all of my calls and that wraps up tonight's nightly breakdown if you got value out of this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss a nightly breakdown or a weekly watch list if you're looking for an educational and intellectual experience hit the link in the description to go sign up for our discord and upgrade to tradeflare pro for the best experience as always we are not financial advisors nor do we claim to be and the stock market is is risky you could lose money therefore use the information in these videos at your sole discretion and don't forget time is your most valuable asset so quit wasting it get up get out and go get it my friends